The Milwaukee Police Department released body camera video and 911 calls of a police shooting on the south side. It happened nearly two months ago, but the family of the man killed, including his stepsister, who's an MPD officer, claims there's more to what happened. Their attorney is taking action. Katie Crowther breaks down the video and the family's fight. Adam, you go. I got the phone. This body cam video shows the police perspective moments before an officer shot and killed 49-year-old Roberto Zielinski on Sunday, May 30th, near 29th and Cleveland. MPD also sharing photos of the investigation afterwards and two 911 calls from people who live nearby. Shooter, we got kids in here. And how many shots did he fire? At least six or seven, but I would let the officers know that he's, he's like legit trying to be suicidal, so if they come up on him, he's probably going to shoot. So he's inside the house? He's on his porch. No, he's on, he's on his porch. He's shooting up and down the block in the alley. When officers arrived, they say Zelinsky was armed with a gun on his front porch, but moved to the back of his house and fired shots. Another round, another round. You can hear police make contact with him. He's there. You see him? No, I don't. I'm, I'm ready to take Milwaukee him. Milwaukee police, you need to stop that. Sir, drop the gun. Drop the gun. They say Zelinsky raised the gun to his head. Don't do it. Put the gun down. It'll be all right. Don't do it, buddy. Put the gun down. But the attorney representing Zelinsky's family says something is missing from the police video. Moments before Robert Zelinsky was murdered, he was calling out for help, asking for his sister, a Milwaukee police officer, to be contacted and brought to the scene to help him. He held a gun to his head because he was in a mental health crisis. Police say in the video that audio is redacted to protect family members' identity. The family says they want all police body cam video and audio released, not just some of it. And they plan to take legal action against MPD. And makes me wonder and gives me concerned about how MPD handles situations with people who have mental health crisis. In Milwaukee, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News. Now, that shooting is still under investigation by the Waukesha Police Department. The Milwaukee Police Department did release a lengthy statement on its policy of sharing video in these cases. To read that and see the video for yourself, just click on the link to this story. Go to TMJ4.com.